Hey everybody, I'm Valana Putz with Lately North America, and we have a really exciting, uh, uh, exhausted, and exciting guest with us today, Josie Rosam with Dan and Debbie's Creamery. Um, the Takis family of Ely, Iowa was the recipient of our Way to Dairy Award. And while a lot of things have been going on in the world since, the, since we awarded you guys the award, um, then we've had these natural disasters that came through. Uh, you guys are there in Eastern Iowa and the derecho slowed down progress, took the roof of the barn, part of the roof of the barn off, could kind of really upset the uh, silage chopping and corn harvest, but we are at a great place. This is week one of startup. And Josie, it's so great to see the excitement and a smile on your face because <laughs> People have told me this is probably the hardest week for new robot farms. So tell us what has happened this week. What happened on Monday morning? How are you feeling here on Friday? Yeah, so it feels good that the week is over. We've survived the first week with um, really just a small amount of, of problems. I mean, the only problems that we did come across were all simple that we could overcome. But Monday morning, um, my family, we milked our cows in our Swing 16 milking parlor for the very last time. Um, we've been using that parlor for 25 years. So this is a huge change for us. And um, about 11 o'clock Monday morning, um, they said it was go time. We're ready to run the first group through uh, the robots and, and get going. And so really 1130 um, that morning, we've been out in the barn. We've had people out there around the clock just taking different shifts um, to train the cows and, and teach them. And um, it's been such an awesome experience. If you would have talked to me on Monday, Bolana, I might have <laughs> had a different story, but you know, surviving those first two, three um, days, once you do that, it, you really see the progress in the cows. Um, and it's just like an amazing feeling because you're like, we made the right decision. We just noticed a change in our cows. Um, and that's been really, really cool for us to see. What changes have you seen in those cows? Yeah, I think there's a number of, of different changes. Um, they just seem a little bit more pleasant. Um, they're not, uh, they seem more happy. They're they're eating better. Um, they're moving better. They, they just are walking into the robot comfortably and calm. Um, it's not like at the parlor where you have to, you know, move them up all of the time. By day five of startup week, you, you see them sort of wanting to go into those robots themselves. And that want that you see in them is a positive, positive change um, that we've been able to see in the cows. And I know that it's just gonna continue to get better. One of the challenges is the cows are tired. They're all milking an average of three times a day, which they're used to milking two. And so this week has worn them out just as much as it's worn us out. And so I know that once we get into week two, um, you know, they'll just continue to adapt to all of these changes and they'll get a little bit more rest too. So what preparations took place last week and the weeks ahead to get the cows ready for the, for the turn on of the switch? Yeah, so we put a lot of thought into how we were going to prepare for startup. So we did little things like we trimmed all of their hooves um, a couple weeks prior. Um, we singed all of the their udders um, to remove any hairs. We trimmed all of their tails um, just to help the cows get robot ready. Um, those are small changes that if you're able to get those done ahead of time, it makes um, startup that much easier. But I think the biggest thing that we did um, was training. We did a lot of pre-training with our cows. So for three straight days from about um, you know noon to six, we spent time running every single cow through the robot on training mode. And it just made them that much more comfortable with going in there, hearing the sounds of the robot. Um, so that way when startup came, they weren't in complete shock with what's going on around them. So those were the little steps that we took ahead of time. And I think it made all of the changes in the world. So did you guys um, get any tips from other producers that you want the world to know that is definitely something to follow through with? 
Yeah, so we actually had asked a bunch of other producers like, hey, do you have any advice for startup um, week? Because we want to know. And I think the most common response was to have patience. And when I first saw that, I was like, okay, I can have patience, you know, you know, we all, it's a life skill. We've got to, you know, no patience, but I didn't really understand what they meant until we actually got going. It was about three or four hours into startup where I even had some anxiety. The cows were shifting a lot. They were kicking, they were stomping on the, the arm of the robot and it was a little terrifying. And then it hit me. Okay. Other producers are telling me to have, um, to have patience. And so I just sort of, you know, took a step back and, and there it was, um, everything just kind of went smoothly. Once I had patience, the cows had more patience and that was really great. So so what does, what is next week's goals or any particular milestones that you guys are working towards? Yeah, so next week, the goal is to remove all of the training gates. Um, and we're hoping that a good portion of our herd is able to walk up into the robots by themselves. And we're working off of a fetch list. Okay. Well, Josie, we really appreciate this real quick moment of getting an update. Um, I hope you get some sleep this weekend. And, Thank you. Uh, we look forward to talking to you next week and um, good luck and have a great weekend. Thanks, Felana. You too. Thanks.